Hi guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do sample points. So we're going to start with um, sample points website right here. It's really easy. It's just simplepoint.org and you just click their download sample point right here. It takes a few seconds to download. It's really not that long. They also have a great tutorial here. So if there's anything that I talk about today that's confusing, go ahead and open up the tutorial. It's really great for um, getting you through everything. So this is what sample point looks like when you open it up. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go up here to options and uh, go to database wizard, create database. And you'll name your database, whatever you'd like. Just remember what your database name is because you're going to need it when you create your statistics file. And then you just click create populate database. A few things to mention at this point is that all the images that you're going to want to classify uh, for one uh, session needs to be in the same folder. You can't pick and choose different images from different folders. So you want to make sure all your images are in the same folder. Another thing of note is that if you can, make sure that your files are either uh, TIFF files or bitmap files. They just work way better with this program than JPEGs. Uh, that being said, the files, the pictures that I'm using today are in fact JPEG. Uh, it doesn't affect it too much, but um, so you just click open. I'm going to use only these first four images and then you just click done and I'll tell you that they've where where it's located and everything and uh, what to do next actually. So you just click OK and then you go down and you back to options go to select database and here it is and it looks like an Excel file it is an Excel file but it'll open your images just the same so uh, this pop-up just tells you that how many images that you're opening so if you're expecting more or you're expecting less then you should uh, go and recreate your your database so this is your first image and um, also known as your key and before we even get started with all that um, we're gonna talk about custom buttons so if you go up to options you can go to custom buttons and you can create your own buttons so you just go create custom button files and this first box is what the actual button name is. The second is the description of the button where you can actually put in for your classifier so you don't have to explain to them what each button actually means. You can be like, this is an unknown and in the unknown button you should put anything that is a shadow or field equipment or anything you not quite sure what it is. And then they also have this really cool optional box right here, which is for a shortcut, and it just makes a hot key on your on your keyboard. So if you put in G here, whatever this button is, say it's grass. If you come across grass, you can just push G rather than click the actual button down here. So I already created a a set of buttons, so you didn't have to make me watch me make buttons. So you just go and you go load custom button file and there it is and open and it takes a few minutes to kind of load but it's actually really not that long so there it goes so then once you get your buttons going um, then uh, one thing to note is before you push this button which gets you started if you need to rotate your picture now is the time to rotate it you can't rotate it once you've pushed the begin button so if you need to rotate it, you rotate it now. That being said, I don't need to rotate this, so I will just click my begin button. So this is what it looks like when you've pushed the begin button. You get these little yellow crosshairs. There's a hundred of them across your picture. And you can darken your picture or lighten it and then these buttons mess with the contrast one way or the other and then this R button just resets your 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 photo to what it originally was uh, another thing that you can do that's pretty cool is 
you can change the color of this crosshair. You just go to options and it's the first thing and uh, they've got four colors here. I found that bright green was the best for these photos. So that's what I'm going to stick with. So while you're doing this, you want to make sure that your over here on the left hand side that uh, classified is selected and not train. Classify, make sure that the actual buttons that you're being pushed is being recorded. Whereas train won't record it into a data file, but it, it makes sure that your classifiers are being consistent and stuff. So it's a, it's a training tool. So you go in and you cl classify your first crosshair and you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, there's three ways to do that, which is, uh, one is to actually go into the box next to zoom and you can click five or uh, and then push refresh and it'll take you to the zoom level five. The other one is your up and down arrows on your keyboard and if you have a mouse wheel you can scroll using your mouse wheel. So right below the zoom is the point and that just tells you where you are. So we're obviously at point one. You can't use this to skip around the page. I've tried and uh, it's actually right here. So this box, this little box that says point right here is actually if you want to skip around on the page you can you can do that. So to do that you just go here and you go point 99 and then you just push the RST which stands for reset and I'll take you to point 99 which is right here and then you just classify it and so at point 100 you're gonna get after you've classified point 100 you're gonna get this pop-up that says that's it you're done with this image and you're gonna go to your next image so you just click OK and then you click next image and then you're given your new key so you're on key 2 now so if say that you're working on key two and or you're you just got done with key one and uh, you accidentally double click the next button you're on key three so you can't go in here much like the point one you can't go in here and try and click and make it the what you do is you go to image and then you push two and that'll take you back to image two and you can begin again and that'll help you out. So then you go through and you go to your all of your go through all your images. And once you get done with your very last image, you can it'll say, "Okay, that's all your images." You go to next image, it'll tell you you've exhausted all your images. And then you click okay, and then you go to options and you click create statistics file. I'm not going to click it because I've already created the statistic files for those four images and here it is. So first you have your key and then it tells you what the actual image file name is and then it breaks down all your percentages of what you clicked for each of those crosshairs and tells you how much each of those is going. So that's basically it. Once again, if you have any questions, you can either ask me, I might not have mentioned something, or you can either go uh, to the help file, file or the tutorial, and those will both uh, help you out. So that's it. Okay, thanks for watching.